hi guys welcome back or welcome to another video it's your girl naraya um if you're new here subscribe what are you doing i'm gonna give you a minute to go subscribe leave a like because you're gonna like this video and leave a comment after or during whenever i love talking to you guys so let's just get right into it if you can tell by the title we are gonna be discussing feminine hygiene okay one of my favorite things to talk about I just love self-care i love finding new products that serves my body the best and i just love feminine things like i just i love being a girl okay <laughs> the female body is just so complex it can be complex and it can be hard trying to find out what products work best for you and your skin because everybody is different but i'm just here to share with you my tips and tricks that i do that i feel like that works for me and i hope you guys can incorporate these into your routine and hopefully they work out for you too so i got a list it's on my phone <laughs> So let's start. I'm only gonna do 10. I'm literally probably make a series of these type of videos because there are so many tips and tricks about feminine hygiene. And I love just trying new products and seeing what works best for me, like I said. But let's just get right to it. These are not my I wouldn't say all of these are my these are not my top 10. It's just the first 10 that I feel like came to my mind that are very important to like start with. Beginner kind of so we're just gonna start and get right to it i would also like to point out that i feel like i'm pretty credible because i really am into i'm no doctor no type of like specialist or anything like that by any means uh, let's keep let's be aware of that um but i am invested in my self-care and how my body is how my how i treat my body like i i want to treat my body is a temple, okay? This body is not mine, it's God's. And I wanna treat this body as well as I can until I get older. So you have to treat your body right, okay? So I feel like I'm pretty credible on what I'm saying. The okay, so let's get right into it. Let's get into it. So. The first thing we're going to talk about is how to wash your your body, okay? <laughs> your body is your temple, like I said. You have to take care of your body. You got to wash it. You need to be taking a shower every single day. And if you can't take a shower one day because you're too busy, and you're just gonna, make sure you take it the next day. Just try to make an effort to take a shower every day, okay? How do you wash? How do you take a shower? <laughs> So first you want to double cleanse. You want to start with an antibacterial soap and make sure you're getting all that dirt and sweat, all that build up off your build up off of your body. I like to use Dr. Bronner's. So I start with that as my first wash. You can use a soap, a Dr. Bronner's soap, you can use Dove soap, Dial, antibacterial soap. Start with a base cleanser, preferably unscented. Um, if it is scented, then you can also double cleanse by just using whatever like smell good soap but i like to use something that's like kind of soft not that smelly or if it is smelly then it matches my body wash so that's next so you want to use your body wash after you use your um your soap so that's what double cleansing is and that's just what you need to do in the shower literally every single day um now, something that you can add or you should be adding, but not every single day is exfoliating. I like to exfoliate with this Skin Fix product. I don't know if you guys um, watched my, wasn't my previous video, but it was a video before this. I love this stuff. This is a pre-shower and in-shower chemical and manual exfoliator. So actually, I'm lying. Before I get in the shower, I do use this. First, sometimes. This is not all the time. This is 
Double cleansing is every single day, okay? This is like when I'm using my exfoliant. So when I use my exfoliant in the shower, I like to put this on my body first because it's a pre-shower exfoliant. So you just rub it on your body and then when you get in the shower, you rub it in more. And this is really, 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 really good. It's a glycolic renewing scrub. The next thing we're going to talk about is oil pulling teeth. Your teeth, your hygiene and your teeth, your teeth, your teeth hygiene. Mm. <laughs> okay, so for your teeth, I started oil pulling this year and I have noticed a tremendous difference. I know y'all be seeing this all over TikTok, but the hype is real about it, okay? If you're not oil pulling, I don't know what you're doing, okay? So, oh. So I just use a regular virgin organic coconut oil um unrefined and before i brush my teeth i just get a scoop swish it in my mouth for about 10 minutes if i'm taking a shower that's a good time to do it um i just do mine for about 10 minutes spit it out not in a sink in the trash can because it's oil and it builds up and it could possibly stop up, stop up your sink so you need to be oil pulling okay this stuff is really it whitens your teeth it freshens your breath like it's so many good benefits from this stuff. Um, you need to be doing it. And of course, you need to brush your teeth every single day, okay? Twice. Twice. Morning and night. Morning and night. Brushing your teeth morning and night. Shower once a day. Brush twice a day, okay? And you need to be using a tongue scraper, okay? This is so good. Like... I don't know why none of this stuff was like here before or why I didn't know about none of this stuff, but I started using this this year, earlier this year, and you would be amazed how dirty your tongue is. Like brushing it is not enough. You need to scrape that off. Like you gotta scrape that stuff off. You need to be using a tongue scraper, okay? Um flossing. You need to be flossing. So basic teeth hygiene um tips oil pulling tongue scraping flossing and of course brushing your teeth okay tip number three we're going to talk about moisture after your shower of course you don't want to be having dry skin okay who wants to have dry cracked skin ashy we don't want that okay so after the shower you want to make sure that you are moisturizing your skin every single time you get out of the shower try okay just try because sometimes let me tell you something sometimes i neglect my feet and that is a big no no okay first let me tell y'all what i moisturize with so when i moisturize my skin i like to use get your moisturizer whatever moisturizer you're using I'm currently using this one at the moment, and I also made, um, I, I make my own body butter, so I use that as well, and I like to follow up with a body oil. Now, there's a lot of controversy about is body oil first, or I honestly just mix them together. Like, I put them in the same hand and just mix them together. Pro tip, make sure or... If you're like still a little damp after you're in the shower, the moisture will lock in more, okay? You'll be more moisturized and stay moisturized for longer. Make sure you are getting your feet, okay? Especially your heels, because they get dry. Don't they get dry? Make sure you're getting in between your legs. Don't neglect those spots, your back, like the spots that's like you well, for me, those are the spots that I sometimes miss. So make sure you are hitting those spots. <clears throat> okay, on to tip number four. We're going to talk about the bathroom. Using wipes when you're in the bathroom, okay? You want to use wipes when you're wiping your butt, especially when you're doing a number two, okay? Um, keep you some wipes on hand, okay? When you're going out, have a little bag of wipes. This is a big bag, but try to like, you can get like a little sack, put some little wipes in there. Use wipes when you go to the bathroom. Um, I've even seen people like use a little peri bottle to like 
basically it's just a body you put water in it you like after you go you you know splash water <laughs> down there uh, you can do that another just pro 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 tip try have if you know you if you know you're going to do number two <laughs> Get some toilet spray, okay? If you don't want to be stinking coming out the bathroom, okay? Just get some toilet spray. Spray it before you go. Spray it after you go. And, you know, nobody will ever know, okay? That's just a little pro pro tip. But um, Next, tip number five. We're going to talk about the girl downstairs, okay? She can cause problems sometimes, you know? You, you can get BB down there, yeast infections, UTIs. I've personally had UTIs before. I've had yeast infections before. Um, I've had BB once. So, trust me, I, I feel like I'm well enough <laughs> educated on these topics, um, especially this one. So, this is how you get them. You can get them all different type of ways. You can get them from sex. If you're not taking good care of your sex etiquette when you're having sex, um, you can get them from your diet, from eating like certain foods that you don't know that could be messing up your pH balance down there. You can get it from wearing too tight underwear. You can get it from scented stuff. That's why it's very important to keep scented soaps and all that type of stuff away from her, okay? away um what else there's a lot of things you can get stuff from well these um infections and stuff from so when you notice something different about your downstairs area you want to make sure that you are paying attention to her okay she needs extra attention when stuff like that is, occurs okay so one tip you can do for BV, BV, um, you can go get some suppositories from Target. And I'm going to try to insert a photo or leave it in the description. And you can insert those when you notice, like, you have BV. And let me tell you something. If you notice something, try to go to someone and see if they can take you to the doctor first so you can get treated for what you have. If it's like, because all of these can lead to extreme measures. So you want to make sure you're taking extra precautions when you notice something wonky down there okay and taking your prebiotics of course um that will help her down there stay balanced um drinking raw cranberry juice i don't know y'all that stuff that's like no sugar added that is not the real cranberry juice okay that's it's cranberry juice but the real raw raw cranberry juice is but it's good for you, so that helps her downstairs too. Okay, so tip number seven. We're gonna talk about taking care of your hidden spots on your bodies. I feel like these spots are often neglected and it's important that you not neglect them. <laughs> so let's talk about your ears your ear as a whole you need to make sure that you are cleaning behind your hair ear every other day y'all y'all don't know y'all probably don't know how dirty that gets or that behind there okay like your ear it's, it's dirty okay you need to make sure you clean it all inside not just the ear in here but in here like all in your ears if you wear earrings make sure you are using alcohol i use alcohol or sometimes i'll use like that clara stuff that i've got that literally doesn't i haven't <laughs> since i got my ears pierced i haven't emptied that bottle yet but you need to be making sure you clean your ear holes like that stuff can have a smell to it and you don't want that so make sure you are taking good care of your ears um another neglected part because sometimes i forget and i need reminding so clean those ears do a deep cleaning of just your ear um, my belly button, make sure you're cleaning your belly button. Your belly button has dirt in it, okay? Like, make sure you're getting inside there. I would say at least once a week, okay? Once a week, you want to make sure you just swipe the belly button, get a little Q-tip, go in there, clean it out. Clean the belly button out. And then, like I said before, your feet. Make sure, make sure you're taking good care of your feet. 
Um, I like to do like foot mask and put like a little foot mask on and then wear like some fuzzy socks or put some socks on and just you need to marinate those feet, okay? Speaking of that, I need to do that to my feet today, okay? Oh my gosh, the back of your neck. Make sure you are scrubbing the back of your neck. Your neck gets so dirty. Y'all, sometimes I'll be forgetting and I'll scrub my neck and I'll look at the dirt. I'm like, dang, all of that was in the back of my neck. Back, of your, Make sure you hang your neck. Neck, ears, feet, belly button. Those are my neglected places and I'm pretty sure there's a lot of other people's neglected places. So make sure you're hitting those. Okay, now we're on eight. Um, shaving. Let's talk about shaving. Um, this is the shave stuff that I use. It's a shave oil from Tree Hut. Love this stuff. Oh my gosh, this is the best shaving product I have ever used. I used to use EOS shaving cream. No, nah. this is it, baby. This is it, okay? You want to make sure whatever hair, okay, whatever direction your hair is growing, you do the opposite. So my hair on my leg grows down, so I shave up, okay? And I shave like, like this. I don't know how to demonstrate it, but I shave like, I just get a bit of shave from shaving like this. Take your razor and go like that. It, it sounds like it hurt, but it doesn't, okay? Don't be using dirty razors, okay? You need to be changing your razors a lot often. You don't want to use dirty because they have bacteria and you want to you get you don't want to get the nice skin okay so change out your razors i would say every time you shave honestly unless you just like shave your leg a little bit you can i, I would say that's good or clean them out like clean them out but you don't want to be using no dirty razor okay um you want to make sure you are cleaning and washing those sheets okay you need to be washing your sheets regularly, every week, really. Every week, try to wash your sheets, put them in the washing machine, wash them. Go do some self-care while you're washing your sheets, but wash your sheets. They have so much, they can track so much dirt from them, okay? So just be sure you're cleaning and washing your, your wash, cleaning and washing your sheets. They can affect your skin, your body. They can cause breakouts just from simply not washing your sheets, you know? And last but not least, I'm talk about sleeping. So, as a female, you want to make sure that you are. I personally don't like sleeping with a bra. I think you should let the girls go while you sleep. You know, let, let them breathe. And underwear. Bra, underwear. Don't sleep with bra. I'm not going to say don't do it, but if you are doing it, try not to sleep with a bra or underwear, okay? Um. It's just better. You need to let yourself breathe. You need to let your body parts breathe from the day. Wear some loose shorts, loose shirt. You just need to be... I mean, I'm more comfortable that way, too. You need to let them breathe, okay? They don't need to be sucked in all the time. <laughs> they already sucked in their, you know, undergarments all day. You need to let them breathe, okay? So, that was it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you have any additional tips or if my tips need to be altered a little bit please leave them down below we need to all help each other out because it's so much being a female like we got periods every month we gotta have the babies like it's just so much and our bodies are changing all the time so let's help each other out leave some tips down below this will not be the last tip video that I give about female hygiene so stay tuned and if you're new here you need to hit the subscribe button like what are you doing uh, um the next video will be dropping Sunday and we're going hygiene hygiene shopping that's gonna be fun I'm just gonna show you guys the products that I talked about here and I hope that helps you out so yes um, love you guys. Love you so much. Thank you for watching. If you watched the whole video, you rock. Love you. See you in the next one.